So you've decided that you want to be a YouTuber, but you don't know where to begin. Well, in this video and future videos that I have planned, I'm gonna teach you how. Yay! So first, one of the most critical parts of your YouTube channel is your username. Now you see my username, I made a video about this on my animation channel, but basically came along with me simultaneously seeing a pug and seeing an Enderman head that my friend had, and just thinking about fluffy things, and you know, deciding fluffy and a pug would be a funny name, and one day I would use it. Your name can come along like that, or you can, you know, have a name. Maybe you already have a username, because you know, sometimes you just have that random username you use for everything. Use that. Uh, just don't include the tongue of numbers and stuff, because you, uh, if you get popular, people won't want to type in. Let's say, for example, Blue Ranger 856678 question. Either point. You don't want numbers or symbols and stuff. That, that. Just didn't it, yeah. <laughs> yeah. And yeah. So your, your username is quite important. Um, if you can't think of anything, what I would suggest, I know some people do this, is taking, like, your favorite thing, seeing if it's already a YouTube channel. If it's not, if it's not already, like, a YouTube thing. Like, let's say your favorite thing and it can't be copyrighted. Let's say your favorite thing is, um, uh, let's just say your favorite thing is bottles. So you type up the like bottle cap or something like that, and see if it's the right thing. And if it's not, then that could be your thing. So you got sketch sketch my tip for usernames. Now for your profile picture and channel art. Now for me, I was lucky enough for a while I just went with random art or pictures of me that I had and would change it a ton. But ever since my friend Collison, I I'm lucky to have a very good artist who's in college named Collison. I'll uh, link to his channel in the description. He made this. He actually did a speed paint of it if you want to go check that out. Link in the description. Uh, I'm not being paid by him to say this, he's just my friend. Um, but you might not be so fortunate, which is why I am about to show you how to make your own profile picture. Oh, but before I show you that, uh, also I, uh, before I show you that, I can also make your profile pictures and channel art. Um, link to how to do that in the description. Alright, so we're now on my homepage, and um, is the art app I would suggest using, I'm not sponsored by by them, I, I'm just saying, uh, is Ibis Paint X, because you make speed paints, and it's just a good mobile art app. If you're on computer, uh, I would suggest Fire Alpaca, but uh, MS Paint is also okay. <laughs> um, yeah, so what you want to do in Ibis X is you want to, yeah, you just want to go to the 100 by 100 thing down here, or this whole bit down here, you want to click OK. And then, uh, yeah, that'll take you to this, and uh, you can look up tutorials for whatever art program you're using. Um, and yeah, if you're using Ips Paint X, I would suggest doing that uh, function, because, um, <laughs> because it... It, it it doesn't crop your picture in any way when you post when you put it as a profile picture. All right, so now we got the basic idea. Now that you have your username, it's basically now that you've created your channel. We got your username, your profile picture, your channel art. Now, um. I have notes over here. You want to decide what kinds of videos you're going to ma be making. 
Now uh, you could do gaming, you could do vlogs, you could do um, drawings, speed paints. Uh, <laughs> for all I care, you could do dirt reviews. By the way, I'm just pointing my finger in random places. I've never really done a well, like a really high quality video with lots of editing before because most of my videos are streams or random memes that I make. This is my first in-depth video, but yeah, that's not a point. Uh, you can make board game videos, food reviews, um, parkour videos, Minecraft, hamster ball, skull monkeys, you get the point. You can make basically any type of video, or you can make what I do, which is a mixture of randomness. Oh, I can't believe I, I have to do all that editing now. But yeah, so you, you gotta decide what kind, what is your passion? Is it Sports, tutorials, um, maybe you have a passion in boba. I don't like boba, but you could, maybe your thing is how to make boba. These are random video ideas or quality cactus review. <laughs> you could go point. Talking about pack, this goes to new video. I have a pack disco art back there. But yeah, you, you get the point. You want to make videos that you are passionate about. Alright, so now you've got your channel and the types of videos that you want to make. But now, you want to do um, your, your first video. So, it's your first video. It doesn't have to be great. But, take a, one of the video ideas you have, um, and uh, it might go a little something like this. Is it recording? I think it's recording. Hey guys, welcome to uh, how to, how, how, how to draw a picture. I, I'm new to this. Um, where, where's my, where, where's my pen? I gotta find my pen. I found it! So, how to draw, you want to, um, take some, some paper, and, um, and, and, and you, you, you wanna, you, you, here's how to draw an eye, that's trending, so, so you draw a circle, anyways guys, that, I tried my best, <laughs> Alright, hopefully it won't be that bad, but you never know. You know, it's your first video, it doesn't have to be good. My first video was literally a five second thing of like a cheesy, um, not very good, um, Five Nights at Freddy's fan character that I made in MS Paint with like all the worst brushes and five seconds of London bridges falling down in the background. So it was literally this terrible thing. It said, London bridges broken down, broken. You guys can go watch that link in description. Now, the next thing to do is make your thumbnail for your video. Hopefully it was an interesting idea, so I'm about, you're about to see my step-by-step -step process of making the perfect thumbnail. 
We're back on my homepage with Caitlin not Caitlin on my back screen. Now, what you, first thing you want to do is go to YouTube. This might sound weird, but what you want to do is I was looking up video ideas. I was thinking of video ideas and I was typing them in to see stuff. So, say for this video, it's um something like this. I was watching these videos for video ideas. Now, you'll see a lot of them look kind of like this, you know, with the numbers. And it, you don't want to be cliche. Because, for example, if this video's thumbnail was cliche, no one would click on it because you'd be like, oh, another kid playing Call of Duty while talking about randomness. That, no, seriously, though, that's what some of these videos are. I was looking at these videos for ideas. They're terrible. The thumbnails, some of them are so similar. It, like, it's like, are they twin brothers? So, so now that you have your basic idea. Yeah, I was, I was literally... I was looking up, first of all, I, I want to be able to advertise my YouTube channel, and then I was like, because it takes my um, YouTube things, it, anno it annoys me, because like, literally, I will search something on YouTube, I'll go to Google and say, eh. even YouTube's doing that, but anyways, so it's 1280x720, so what you want to do is you want to go to your art program, because you're thumbnail makers, but they suck. And then you want to type in 1, 2, 80, and then on the other one, 7, 20. And then, okay. And then go into this. So for this one, you'll, you'll see. You want it to be different from the crowd. Now, for the final part of this video, which is tags. Tagging your videos. Now, if you're on mobile, there is a small problem that when you're uploading, you can't add tags. I don't know why they changed that. You used to be able to, but for some reason, at the time of recording this, you can't. Uh, but don't worry, you can upload it and then edit it. So, I'm going to take some stock footage right now. So I can use it as an example. La. Beep beep. So now, I have this video of stock footage that I just posted. So what you want to do is you want to click edit. And then, here you are, so you go to tags. So, you want to spam it with tags. Relevant tags. If you write irrelevant tags, that makes you a jerk. So, Roadrunner. Looney Tunes. Looney Tunes. Roadrunner. Versus Coyote. Road Runner Skit. Coyote versus Road Runner. Meep. Meep. Beep. Beep, I'm a sheep, just can just beep beep. Meep. Meep. Beep. Beep. Coyote. Funny. Cartoon. Coyote. 
Coyote Buttes. Road Runner. It's funny because that never happens, so a lot of people will be searching for that. Select all, copy, and then you also want to put this all in your description because then it works better. And then you just want to repeat that process for every video you make. So, cause, or you don't have to. You can post a meme every once in a while or a live stream. So, I can do a double chin, but that's off topic. So, hope you enjoyed this video. Um, if you did, uh, please like the video. Uh, subscribe, turn on notifications, that way you're notified whenever I come out with a new video, which will be fun, especially if I'm live streaming, because you can come talk to me, you can ask me questions, you can ask me if I'm gay, I don't care, because <laughs> I am, but, um, yeah, so, Yeah, you, you, you subscribe, like, all that stuff, and share, because, you know, exposure, hashtag, Tyler, hashtag Tyler exposed, let me go wash this off. I made it to